Franklin Pan's George Cannon sitting in today for all the excitement and action. And along with me is Floyd Creechman to give his comments about what has taken place. Let's open up with Tony Gatello going against Yvonne Lavadur. Two fine young athletes, both of them wear white trunks, so it might be a little hard to distinguish one from the other. But we will keep you informed along the way. Maybe Floyd can help us here. Which one has the red kneecaps for it? They both do, but one has something other than the other that we can distinguish, can't we? Boots. The boots, okay. Who has the black boots? The black boots are her. Yvonne Avenger. White boots are Tony Gatillo, the Italian stallion from Montreal, so called himself. Tony Gatillo, the Italian stallion from Montreal, Quebec. In there now, two fine looking young athletes. Well, two fine looking uh, athletes, George Cannon. That's, uh, that's maybe how you see them. How do you see them, Floyd? Two, two, two ugly athletes. I think you see them as fodder for your people. To That's feed, right. To feed to your wrestlers, correct? Correct. Right now, it's been all Lavazur since the start of the match. Lavazur hasn't given Gatillo, the uh, Italian stallion, a chance to do anything as of yet. He's been on top of him since the match started. Lavazur, you see, look at the size of his legs. Very big thighs on Lavazur. There's been some comment on the part of Floyd here that both of these wrestlers have their instructions from Gino Brito and Gino Brito Jr. and uh, Dan Crofat. From Take It From The Pros, you saw the show, Take It From The Pros. Absolutely, it Take It From The Pros, something we're not going to see today, unfortunately. Thank God. It's a very interesting feature, and as we've been getting a lot of mail on this. A lot of the wrestling fans like to know the holds and what they're called and the terminology used and the counter holds, which is very important. I think that the show, Take It From The Pros, held by Gino Brito, should be taken from the pros by Pretty Boy Floyd and his protégés. Then you'd see the right wrestling moves. Well, there's a very good reason why it's not seen by Floyd Creechman and his protégés, is because they would have very little to tell the wrestling fan in the way of wrestling moves. The wrestlers that you have, Floyd, chop, punch, kick, gouge, pull hair, out of the ring, on the floor, use foreign objects, they don't know very much about professional wrestling as it is. That's right. All action and no talk. <laughs> well, I think the wrestling fans enjoy something like this where they can see two fine young athletes, as I mentioned before, Italian Stanley and Tony Gatillo, Yvonne Lavadur. And they see a display of holds and counter holds, and they learn a little bit from wrestling. Uh, let's see something like this. I think they're evenly matched, Gatillo and Lavadur. Mind you, Gatillo is a couple of inches taller. He has the height advantage. Well, it's always good to see two wrestlers who are evenly matched. Uh, most of the matches that uh, some of the, well, I should say some of the matches that we see are very, very overmatched. One fellow having all of the experience, another one being very green. You got a big, big, exciting card today on international wrestling, George Cannon. You're talking about matches that are evenly matched. People are going to see Rocky De La Serra. Going against Gino Brito Jr., Sim, Charlan, Nagasaki, three against three against Steve Strong, Dan Crawford, and the other one there, the Hawaiian Punch. You don't seem to have too much respect for the punch. No, 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 not at all. He's on the wrong side. You know there's good and evil? He's on the evil side. <laughs> Well, in that match, we'll see the tag team champions. Charlon Sims teaming up with Nagasaki to make three on to three going against Strong and Punch and Pro Fat. In the meantime, here we have uh, Lavazur covering Gatello and Kickout. This match is very even. Uh, it's a give and take, going back and forth, one fellow on the other. Could go any way. Either fellow could take this match right now. It's Gatello over Lavazur. You know, I wanted to ask you, George Cannon, you had the pleasure to meet, you know, that cowboy Trey Travis, the one that so calls himself the trainer of Gino Brito Jr. And also, he's, a, he's promoting towns in southern Ontario. I want, I want to know one thing. Why, why could the man be Gino Brito Jr.'s trainer and also promote towns at the same time? He has towns signed up, Toronto, Scarborough, Owenstown, Chatham, all places like that. Yet, he's still the trainer of Gino Brito Jr. Well, I think it's a case of where he's assisting the promotion in these areas. 
and he's also assisting Gino Brito. The anchor punch that Gino has is certainly, certainly added to his repertoire of holds and has allowed him to become a, a main force now in professional wrestling, so much so that he is the TV champion. And here's Gatello with a one, two, three. That's all over wrestling fans. Gatello wins that. We'll take a look at the replay coming up as we see Gatello taking the match, the Italian Stallion over Yvon Lavadour. The winner, Gatello, the Italian Stallion. And now we'll go into the replay where we will see the Stallion taking the fall over Yvon Lavadour. Form of a suplex. Body press, one, two, three, kick out. Tony Gatello, the Italian Stallion, on his way to winning this match over Yvon Lavadour, the opening match, the winner, Tony Gatello. Everybody knows who I am, Eddie the Brain Creechman. Everybody knows I got the roughest, the toughest, and the best wrestlers. Everybody wonders where I get them. Well, nobody's gonna know because it's not your business. But right now, I'm here with the Headhunters. And I want to tell you, Mendoza, or Hawaiian Punch, or Sherla, or anybody, I don't care who it is, we want matches. These men don't speak English. These men don't speak French. I always get wrestlers that only understand Eddie the Brain Creechman. Yes, all they know is they got to get in the ring and they've got to have a good match and they've got to beat their adversaries. And I'm going to tell you something. We are going to step into the ring in Verdun. Everybody is going to talk about my wrestlers. Everybody's talking about them now because they're the best. Yes, they're animals. I admit they're animals and I'm not going to tell you where they come from. Yes, Balua! Balua, Balua! You people don't know what Balua means, and I'm not going to tell you what Balua means. But I understand what it means. It means to make a clean-up here in Ontario, in the province of Quebec, and in international wrestling. Yes, we're on our way. Everywhere you see international wrestling, you will see the Headhunters with their manager, Eddie the Brain Creechman. Stay with us, wrestling fans, for coming up, Creechman's Corner with special guests today, Bob and Rocky Delicero.